Okay, uh, part nine of the truck project. Uh, I just want to um, show you what's happening now. Um, and probably <coughs> a bit of a clarification from my ramble in part eight. I um, was talking about measurements and stuff like that, alignment, this and that. I found a better ruler so I could probably make a better demonstration and I'll probably just do that just quickly just to clear it all up. Um, I spoke of the um, the measurement from the front alignment bar to the uh, front mounting point of the JAG IRS uh, front end and um, yeah it probably wasn't clear enough but anyway I'll just do a quick demo on that and um, quick demo on that um, I'll just hand the camera to my assistant and uh, I'll just do it. I'll show you this quickly. Um, yeah, what I did basically was uh, I butted this ruler up against the, just basically got the set square, run it along, and at the tailing edge of this, you end up with 18 inches or, how was that, 457 mil. Um, front edge basically is is 17 17 and a quarter front edge and that will be 438 or 37 and a bit I said 37 I think in the last video but it's 37 a fraction but anyway that's butted up hard against the rod that's what you end up with there uh, so yeah I thought I'd just clear that up um, just to, as to how I got that, um, yeah, anyway, got that done <coughs> after my little ramble. All right, come off the camera, please, matey. Thank you. All right, so what we've done now is <coughs> basically we've dropped the engine and gearbox into the body. Um, I made another set of little engine stands, and I, I, I kept these engine stands uh, at 13 inches wide so basically what they can do is they can slide in between the uh, rack and pinion mounts on the original jag rear end so what happens now is that just for the purposes of working out where everything goes i can slide this engine uh, fore and aft um, just to get the right position as to um, where it'll finally end up and then I'll proceed on to making some engine mounts and stuff I'm still a bit confused about engine mounts but um, yeah I've got two thoughts on that but I'll I'll work something out there uh, yeah cylinder that's a, the, the the left cylinder head is further back than the right and it's probably got about probably about an inch and three quarter there which is okay I mean it, it may creep back a little bit further in the final things um, uh, gearbox to bellows or the bellows into flywheel, uh, flywheel clearance is, is pretty good. Um, currently the engine, uh, what I've done with the engine, uh, engine's sitting on about four and a half degrees at the moment, um, uh, but that, that's bound to change. Uh, as uh, as things work themselves out, um, just check that the clearance between the radiator and the um, the block is good, which it is. There's plenty of clearance there. Oh, I think I need about I think it uh, from the, the block to the snout of the water pump needs about nine nine inches, and it's got uh, it's got uh, lots more than that. Uh, uh, excuse me, mate. And uh, I'll just down this side, um, yeah, plenty of clearance, uh, yeah, plenty of clearance everywhere. It's uh, sort of felling. Hello, there's my trusty assistant Campbell. He's uh, he's got all his protective stuff on today. He's he's, he's very work safe. So he doesn't want to hurt himself. 
Uh, yeah, six speed into a F truck. And that's basically it at the moment. Uh, yeah, I like the shifter position, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, like I said, the gearbox might creep back an inch or two more, uh, like probably half inch, three quarter inch back, I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, that's the way it is. Um, yeah, uh, right hand, well left hand, the left hand pedals put into the right hand side of the truck. Uh, as I said, that's the, that's the body pressing there, uh, that uh, recess section, that's, that's, the, that's the remnants of it uh, there, I've just peeled it up. But yeah, so there's the original pressing and, and there's the, uh, the pedals that come straight through it. So good on your Ford. Uh, make it really real easy. Um, now, <coughs> underneath, I'll just show you. Uh, basically, yeah, I've just... I had to cut the cross member because this, uh, this gearbox is so big, so long, so deep. Um, but anyway, this, um, this is... This, I've welded a few pieces on just to support it for now without the use of a jack and um, just and, and basically it's the <coughs> there are uh, those those uh, square tube can slide up and down that so I can once I get the final position and everything like that I'll I'll be um, I'll have a better idea of what's uh, what's going to happen um, with a cross member and all the rest of it so uh, but that's that's down the track uh, yeah, clearance. Um, yeah, clearance is really good on this thing. Um, uh, there's a, the Jag rack. Um, those tubes, of course, they're at the tail end of the little engine stands. But if they weren't there, this thing's got a mile of clearance under the pan. Um, yeah, it's not going to interfere with anything. Um, yeah, so it's all it's all pretty good. I don't think I can show you the sump. Uh, Anyway, so yeah, lots of clearance underneath. All good. Um, yeah, I spoke of um, centering the wheel in the arch, and um, that's uh, <clears throat> that's where that ends up um, with those measurements I spoke of yesterday, uh, the 21 and a half inches. Um, that's that's where the uh, the wheel center ends up in the um, in the arch which is pretty good and um, the 21 and a half inches I'll, I'll probably just do a, a quick explain on that basically um, like I said it's a this uh, this cross member down this cross member down here um, yeah it's got a it's got a 90 degree degree bend at the top here that's the that's the reference point for the 21 and a half inches towards to the back um, to the rearmost part of this um, original Jag engine mount uh, that's um, like I said it's uh, it's pretty damn close but um, the only thing is you want consistency on both sides and that's um, that's the reason I went with the uh, using the alignment bar and the um, measurement from that to the front mounting point instead of that because it's um, it's far more consistent. Uh, yeah, uh, I should speak of the wedges too. That's actually in there too. Um, yeah, I don't know. You see, they're the wedges. They're they're actually in. Uh, they're wedges sitting in there. And what they do basically is they um, they stop the. Uh, they, they have the uh, Jag chassis mount sitting uh, parallel and flush. There's no compression on one end of the uh, mount or the other. So, you know, just, I did that so I don't want problems down the line. Oh, they're blowing out chassis mounts or anything like that. Um, yeah, again, clearance is, um, is, is, is plenty of clearance. Um, so, yeah, it's good, uh, yeah, there's so plenty of clearance for pipes and, and all that sort of thing, so I'll show you back this way. So yeah, yeah very impressive gearbox. Um, 
It should be a lot of fun to drive actually. So, um, yeah, it should be good. Uh, I can't think of much else. There's uh, Campbell's just cleaning up a piece of uh, cleaning up a bit of metal for me there. Looking very much like a uh, engineer or mechanic. Uh, yeah, but anyway, enjoys what he does. Uh, but yeah, six cylinder radiator, that's plenty big. I'd like to use it at some point, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, so that's uh, yeah, uh, 302, well, 302 block in the truck. Um, Cylinder heads, gearbox, uh, bell housing, and uh, yeah, next uh, and the the sump. That's a factory sump, and it's um, it's got about an inch of clearance underneath it, um, which is pretty good. I don't um, I don't know if a, a rear sump is um, absolutely necessary for this um, this fitment. So. But yeah, so and, um, so yeah. Next uh, next stage will be probably uh, uh, I don't know what to do next. I'll uh, just keep fussing around with. I'll uh, well, probably engine mounts next, I suppose. Next engine mounts and, um, and a few other things. But this gives me a, a better idea of. Uh, where it's going to happen. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll work on a, a, a gear stick at some point, and the pedals and, and all sorts of stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm no, pretty happy with progress so far. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll leave it with that, I suppose, for part nine. Um, yeah, I, I, it's, 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 uh, don't have a lot to say. We've oh, got a got a set of throttle bodies here. They um, they're quite interesting. They um, yeah, I've got about eight of them. They could make a very in interesting injection manifold down the line. Um, but we'll uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, yeah, there's. Uh, yeah, that's probably it for part nine. I can't think of much else to say. But yeah, I hope that clears up the, the measurement uh, ramble I did in part eight. And um, yeah, next thing, I'll, I'll probably need to work on a front sway bar at the, at the next stage. But uh, I've, got a few, uh, I've got a few ideas about a sway bar and I, I'm toying with the idea of manning at the rear and uh, um, doing stuff like that. But uh, anyway, it's... All those things are in the post, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll get them mounted when they turn up, and we'll we'll see what that looks like. But yeah, so anyway, I'll leave it at that um, for part nine and uh, part ten. Bit of a mystery. Don't know what I'll be doing in part ten, but uh, I hope it's interesting. Anyway, I'll say goodbye, Campbell. Bye. All right. <laughs>